hello everyone and welcome in this video we are actually going to be taking a look at the chat gpt by openai uh, i actually saw tweets on twitter talking about how it solves coding problems i going to take our jobs as software engineers and a lot more so i decided to use the chat gpt to actually write a technical article so for them to say it's going to take our job as software engineers it's definitely going to take our jobs as technical writers too so let's see if it's going to take our job for real like yep it is going to take our job for real and yep so we are going to be writing an article on linux environment variables right so this is my most recent article right so but we're going to write the same article using the chat gpt so let's see which one is going to like stand out and this is where we're going to be writing it right so what i need to do is to just ask the chat gpt to write an article on linux environment variable and we're just going to place it in the right directions i don't think it can like compile a big article like this and yep so we just need to guide it some ways so what i need to do now is to head over to the chat gpt ui so this is just the ui where you can actually interact with the ai so the next thing i need to do is to actually just say let's let's just say write an article on linux environment variable so write an article on linux environment variables let's see so you can see how it's like generating wow 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 because that is like generating the text for it and i mean so this is just the article right <laughs> i mean this is to me this is not like a full-blown article whereby you can like publish out there let people like start using it um but this is a full-blown article you can actually see that the chat gpt can never i'm just saying can never take your job as a technical writer but i feel you can use the chat gpt to like make your job easier as a technical writer so what you need to do now is i've already like written out like the way the article is going to be so it's basically just from this area so we're just going to be asking open ai chat gpt to like write based off of this audience here so what i'm going to do now is to actually say write a good book for an article on linux environment variable so what i'm doing here is to just say like chat gpt write a good hook for an article on linux environment variables let's see if it's going to write it wow wow wow, wow. so you can see linux environment variable are, are a powerful tool that allows users to customize their environment and automate common tasks by understanding how to use and set environment variables users can get the most out of their linux system i don't think this is like a good hook for a technical article so if you should check out the one i wrote here you can actually see i started off with 96.3 percent of the 1 million web servers so like i feel this is a better hook than the one that the chat gpt has given us but nevertheless let's see let's just copy it and paste it i'll just say thumbs down um i don't have time to write all this let's just say that is the intro and that is the hook and mind you this article is mainly written for onboard base like you are going to actually see a lot of mentions for onboard base here so the article tends to like bring back user to onboard base i don't work at onboard base anymore as a developer advocate so uh but i'm actually just using the article for this video yeah so now let's ask the chat gpt like what are environment linux environment variables let's see the definition here wow wow 
So I think it is like displaying exactly the same thing that is here. Right? So okay, I think wow. Mm. You know if I may people Okay, okay. So it's just similar to this. So we can basically just take out the definition for this one or we can take out one for this. Right. So what is Linux environment variables? This is just it. Just copy it. I don't need out I don't need the rest of this information, right? So I just need or what are Linux environment variables, right? And The common Linux environment variables. Um, yeah. So let's ask the chat GPT to be like. Wow. 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 So okay, let's copy this. Mm. And paste it here. So we're actually going to compare it with my own article, right? So why you need to use Linux environment variables? So let's head over to that GPT, paste it there. So why you need to use Linux environment variables? Wow. I think it beats my own yeah. So I actually mentioned what did I use? Yes. Alright. To ease development. To avoid add coding constants, right? So and it's actually giving me customization, automation, compatibility. I mean, I need to update my article. <laughs> I need to update my article. So, so let's paste that. Yep. And okay. How to use Linux environment variables? Um, let's see if it's going to give us something reasonable. Wow. 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 I mean, it, <laughs> I don't, well, I don't want to see it's going to take my job, but I mean, this is cool, right? Took me days to write the article and and the chat GPT is just generating it for me. Like um yeah. So let's see. We need a conclusion, right? Let's see if it's going to like it can generate a good conclusion for my article. So adding to conclusion. All right, so let's head over to chat GPT and let's tell you to write a good conclusion on the article. So what I've written here is write a, a conclusion on Linux environment variable article. And I think there are better ways to like ask it to write, but yeah. Let's wait for it. Uh, wow. Wow. Wow uh this is nice but i don't think i don't recommend you to actually use this conclusion for your article right so there are some articles that are actually based off of you creating some sample some sample projects right so the one i don't think it, it gives us like any sample project so you need to like make a summary of the sample project you you thought in the article right so but Anyhow, let's just copy this and paste it in here. And here we have the article, right? So we have the hook, uh, which is like the intro. I mean, we still need to add like what we are going to achieve in the article, just like I did here. And yeah, we still need to like update it a little bit, right? But this is the article by chat gpt and to be honest this is like fun 
and but i don't think it beats my own article right it, it can never like it can never beat my article um yeah so i don't want it to beat my article so i will not agree and so yeah these are just my observations i think for what are linux environment variables it's a good definition also for common linux environment variables it's similar to mine yeah so i'll just give it like a plus and also why you need to use linux environment variable i mean this is very good to be honest this is very good and uh compared to mine is also good but i think um this has three points and this has two points uh, so yeah this is a plus and how to use linux environment variables i still need to like read through but i think this is also good but not up to mine yeah so i don't think it beats my my article right i don't think it beats my article these are just my observations and i think with chat gpt right it took me three days to actually three days or so to actually write this article on linux environment variables but with chat gpt it can actually take you like a day to compile a good article so what i feel chat gpt can do is actually just boost your productivity uh, make you do make you complete your tasks easy and faster right so it is not actually going to take our jobs as software engineers it's not going to take our jobs as developers any like it's not going to take our job as developer advocates it's not going to take our jobs as technical writers and a lot more if you love the video you can actually give it a thumbs up and let me know what you feel about chat gpt in the comment section Thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.